Hey Libra and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be your energy reading. We're going to see what is it that you need to know at this time. What's going on with you, okay? Um, if it's not your message, maybe check out another placement. And there you are, Libra. There you are. Look, Queen of Swords just flipped out. I'll take that one. Let's see here. Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, what is it that Libra needs to know right now? What is it that you need Libra to know at this time? Let's see here, Queen of Swords, okay? Eight of Pentacles. And Temperance. Devil, okay? Well, it looks like even though Devil is at the bottom of the deck, you are out here uh, working for the Divine. <laughs> Okay, um, you're putting in your work. Look at that. The Queen of Swords is here, working hard, a master of your craft. Um, you could be mastering something. This could be about your job, but I'm not even feeling job or career. I'm feeling master of your, of your spirituality at this time. Uh, you could be also being protected at this time, what you're working on. You working for the divine is protected, okay? You know, I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, this could be for someone out here. Um, you know, sometimes you, we have days where we might feel a little bit more disconnected from the other side, but... That's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes I feel like that's just like a day off, right? Like we all kind of just need a day off. So in case you've been wondering, um, sometimes it's not like something that some, somebody is sending to you when you feel maybe a little bit blocked, if you get what I'm saying. Um, it's just your guides and your angels kind of giving you a day off because you work so hard in the spiritual okay <laughs> i don't know who that is for but you've been working hard here okay working hard hand in hand with with uh the divine and you're always protected even on those days where you feel Maybe, um, like, I want to say, like, more in the 3D, okay? Even on those days, you're still protected. They're still watching over you. You haven't been disconnected. I don't know why. I feel like that's what I want to tell someone here, okay? You have not been disconnected, if that's what you've been wondering. Sometimes I feel like our guides and our angels do that on purpose, so that we don't spend too much time only in the spiritual, you know what I mean? So why is the Queen of Swords here for Libra? Two of Swords, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords. Okay. So I don't know if this is an emperor that is watching you, okay? If this is someone gathering information, this is someone watching you. But something's not clear here, okay? Someone is lacking some sort of clarity on a situation. Okay, what's that eight of pentacles? Ten of swords and the king of cups. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles on top of the Eight of Pentacles. But it's coming out with a King of Cups and a Ten of Swords. So, <laughs> who's this King of Cups? It's like, well, Libra's having a day off and just, you know, enjoying what, I don't know, your normal life. Here comes the King of Cups <laughs> with some betrayal. What the hell, okay. It's like the King of Cups is like, I never take a day off. Okay, man. Four of 
fine tuning. With the Eight of Pentacles, I just got fine tuning. Fine tuning. Fine tuning, okay. Ah, they never take a day off. Okay, so now they're fine tuning something. Okay, so what's temperance? Strength. Ah, you're way too protected for this. Look at this. Three major arcanas in a row, okay. Temperance, strength, and the hermit. It's like, you know, the honestly, what I'm getting is like, um, you know, even if these people never take a day off, okay, Libra, you can take a day off. You want to know why? It's like, the angels got it. They're like, oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Take your day off, Libra. Everything's going to be fine. We're watching it, okay? You're... It, strength in the hermit. <laughs> okay. What are these people up to now here? Oh. You're still gonna get the messages. Don't worry, Libra, look at this. You're still gonna get the messages. The Hermit and the Page of Wands. What is this? The Sun and the Knight of Swords and Temperance. Wow, what is this? Okay, let's see if we can clarify uh, some more. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords, please. The Five of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So there's some sort of fighting going on here around you or about you. Um, people could be fighting or arguing here when it comes to you. And it has something to do with a gift or some sort of a love offer or... A new beginning in love, okay. But the tower here, why are so many of these upside down? Okay. Why are people fighting about this? Because of justice, because of you, Libra, okay? Because of justice. With Hierophant at the bottom, what is this Ace of Cups? A pathway. They're fighting about your pathway. They're fighting about maybe even, I mean, the Ace of Cups can even be like self-love, okay? Or innocence or your purity. Yeah, you're not even concerned, man. You're not even concerned. I don't know. People are arguing and fighting about the fact that you are in this kind of a Ace of Cups energy. So pure love, pure happiness, innocent, self-love. Why are people arguing about this? Nine of Pentacles, because of money or because of your abundance, or because you're financially stable, because you're successful, you're in the Nine of Pentacles. Emper you're in your Empress energy. So now people are fighting about... <laughs> there you are, Libra. That's Libra energy right there with the Empress. So people are fighting about the fact that you are an Empress. Um, you're stable, you're blossoming, you're abundant and successful you are living out of a pure heart and you have a strong sense for justice i mean with, look at this these are both libra cards on top of the queen of swords libra like libra you're dominating your your reading right now so people are fighting about maybe the way that you're being seen or how you're being seen by others A queen of wands and a king of pentacles. Because of a queen of wands and a king of pentacles? So people are fighting about how you're being seen because of this? Because of this couple here? A queen of wands and a king of pentacles. Okay. Um... What's the 
Ace of Cups. Soulmates. Because of a new relationship or a soulmate connection. Soulmates. Arguing about a soulmate connection. Arguing about a new beginning in love. About you being stable, financially stable, successful in Empress energy. And there's no breakup because there's no breakup here. There's no separation. Uh, someone is not giving you the silent treatment. Okay. And this is what people argue about. This is what people argue about. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the two of swords? Somebody doesn't want someone to see the truth clearly here, or there's now some sort of truth and clarity about you moving forward or your determination or um, you moving on or someone moving on, someone moving forward, somebody traveling maybe. Okay, there's truth and clarity coming in about this. Tell me more about this, please. Oh, because of a king of swords. So a king of swords didn't want an ember to see something clearly here. Or this person was confused, maybe. Maybe a king of swords was confused. Okay. Why is the king of swords here with the truth coming out? The truth about a step in a direction or some sort of action that someone took. A new idea someone had. Okay, what is this here? What's this Ace of Wands? So a King of Swords took some sort of action here. But there was no surprise invitation or meeting. Or this person wants to stop love from coming. That's their bright idea. What is this a action that uh, the King of Swords took here? It comes out again. The Ace of Wands. They had a bright new idea here. They had a they took some sort of action with the Justice, with some sort of messages from a King of Cups or about a King of Cups to the, the Justice system. Okay, so the fine tuning here. Okay, so. Because they wanted to stop the truth from coming out? What's the two of swords? Yeah, because they're trying to lie and get away with something. Okay, so. Tell me, tell me, tell me something. Get the, what was that? I think it's Selena Gomez, right? Sorry, I ate cereal before I got on the video and it's like stuck in my teeth. Okay, that song by Selena Gomez. Tell me, tell me, tell me something I don't know. That's this right here. Okay, so more lies. But is this something that they're planning now? Or is this um, something they already did in the past? Knight of Cups. Has something to do with a love offer? Or a love gesture? Or someone coming towards someone in love? Oh, a King of Wands. Okay, so we got a King of Wands here. Or this is something they brought a King of Wands, an Emperor maybe? Or this is the new idea of the King of Wands, okay? Okay, yeah, it's the new idea, Six of Wands. Okay, so uh, fine tuning, right? Because they're trying to stop an emperor from seeing the truth here, right? They don't want an emperor to see the truth about something because now the truth is out. Now the truth is out about some sort of traveling or somebody that moved on or somebody that traveled somewhere or the truth is out about someone moving forward okay and that there was actually no surprise invitation or meeting okay and now they're gonna try and lie and get away with something by taking some sort of messages about the king of cups to the justice system so who's this king of cups huh three of cups this is someone in this group that is trying to betray you and stab you in the back okay so Maybe this is the King of Cups that got his final warning last time, and I guess he didn't listen, right? 
Is that the same King of Cups here? Oh, okay, the same King of Cups. King of Cups decided he's just going to do what makes him happy and he's uh, not going to listen to Spirit's warning. Okay, so, well, he got, he got another, he got a last chance, man. He got a last chance. He didn't listen, apparently. Now, nah, he's still hanging tight with the strategy. Okay. Well, that's his fate, I guess. Um... Is this about the download that I got a couple days ago? The Queen of Pentacles. So th they're still working together with the King of Cut uh, with the Queen of Pentacles. Having to do with some sort of a money investment or some sort of financial news. It's money. This is about money. News about money. News about money. But is this what they're planning now here? Some sort of messages, King of Cups, the Justice? Or is this the past? They're about to take a risk on this. Because they feel trapped. Because they feel trapped. Or they took a risk on this and now they're trapped? Or they're going to take a risk because they feel trapped. Okay. Because they feel trapped here, the star. They're trying to create an illusion, or they try to create an illusion here. Wait a minute. Is this about the download that I got about the messages here? Trapped. This is what they're planning. This is what they're planning because they feel trapped. Okay, see the thing, the download that I got here, what was it, I don't know, a couple days ago. If these are the same people that have been hacking someone's messages, okay, and um, trying to turn in messages that are hacked, right, and the truth is out, the truth could be out that some of these messages are hacked, right? They could be now, thinking well okay if the if the news is out that these are hacked messages they can just create fake messages fake messages turn them in and it's like they're hacked messages but they're not hacked it's like they're trying to flip it around now right if you get what i'm saying now that the truth is out that the messages that they're using or the communication they're using is hacked they could be trying to use that argument that it's hacked to make fake messages look real or seem real. Like, I hope you get what I'm saying. It's like turning in fake messages and saying, oh yeah, these are also hacked, but they're not. That's what they're trying to like hide the fake messages under that umbrella now. That's something that I got because, oh, got him. Oops, Tower and the Five of Swords, yeah. They're trying to win at all costs. Now that the truth is out about the messages being hacked, they could be trying to turn in fake messages, like thinking that people are stupid. And if it ever came out in the future that some of the messages are hacked, they're just gonna try and put those in with the hacked messages, but they're not hacked. These are fake now. These are fake and fabricated, okay? Especially when it comes to some sort of alleged messages with the King of Cups. These are fake. If these are new messages that they're turning in, right? If they're planning on turning in some sort of new communication, allegedly with a king of cups, okay? Um, these are fake. These are fake. And that's why the tower is here, okay? Because I, I, I might have just blown up their plan, okay? Is that what this is here? King of swords. There's a king of swords here. That's this one down here. This could be an Aquarius, okay? King of Swords and the Star. So there's an Aquarius here, masculine, who doesn't want an emperor to find out the truth about something. So, because the truth might be out now about some sort of traveling. Is that really what they're doing now? I mean, are these people that stupid? So the news is out that they lied about someone traveling somewhere. 
Or they lied about someone moving forward, so now they're going to create fake messages with a King of Cups. No. Oh. Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. Okay, so they're trying to change their look around here with some sort of a fake relationship narrative. Okay. Um, they might know that they're being investigated also with the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. They might know that they're being, they might be like being looked into or something's being investigated. Okay, so they might know this. And that's why they're purposely now going to maybe start turning in fake messages that they write themselves, but since they, since the, the news is out that some of the messages are hacked, they're going to be like, oh, these are hacked too, by the way, but they're not. These are fake. Like something like that is what uh, they might be doing next here at the moon because they think that now they can create an illusion. Now they can create some sort of an illusion and hide, hide under the umbrella of, oh, it's all hacked messages, but it's not. Now it's a, like, they're trying to flip it around because of a queen of wands in reverse and the world. They're gonna try and create some sort of an illusion now. Okay. So uh, that's what I'm getting with fine tuning right here with the eight of pentacles. This fine tuning is like fine tuning messages now. We're fine tuning a story here that has to do with 10 of pentacles, some sort of a large amount of money or um, yeah, an inheritance, family, legacy, okay. Why is the emperor here? Knight of Cups. Something that they want to give to the emperor. Okay, so they're planning on coming towards the emperor. And they want to give the emperor something because they're trying to get out of their head. They, they're trying to get out of their paranoia and out of their fear, okay? Um, when these people feel like negatively stimulated i almost want to say okay when they get scared and have paranoia their first instinct is to do something and come to the emperor with more evidence right evidence okay so they're coming to the emperor with more evidence but these these messages are lies it's about somebody not giving something to someone or Somebody not receiving something or what, what's with the Six of Pentacles reverse? Break up separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment abandonment. And we have love call here and girl talk. So both cards of somebody on a phone... So, wait a minute. What's the six of pentacles of this? Child in reverse. Child in reverse? So, Because somebody's not being given a child or somebody wasn't given a child or somebody lost a child or somebody didn't have a child or somebody lost their innocence. What? Seven of Pentacles. It's whatever they've been in whatever they've been working on here for a very long time so the seven of pentacles always gives me their narrative right this narrative that they just gotta keep they gotta uphold it they just gotta keep going it's like you know it's like kind of gives them like an olive tree okay how long do, do olive tree uh olive trees take to grow fruit i think it takes like two or three years right yeah and that's just them they're like slaving over this little tiny olive tree and it doesn't have any fruit on it right some <laughs> judgment tower <laughs> they're like we can't give up on the little olive tree we've been putting in so much work look at this irrigation system 
Look at these leaves. We gotta keep going, okay? So, what's Six of Pentacles reverse though? Knight of, this is their strategy. They're like, we gotta just keep going. We gotta get a new plan. We gotta just try and try something new, okay? Devil in reverse, yeah, because they don't want to be defeated. They can't, they can't face the defeat, okay? The defeat is gonna be humiliating. But you're not attached to something here. You're not attached to something. Six of Pentacles reverse. They couldn't give you something, or somebody didn't get something, or they can't give something, or somebody didn't give someone a child, or somebody didn't maybe get someone pregnant. Someone didn't lose, or they don't want to lose their innocence, or, okay. What's this um, page of swords here? A queen of swords in reverse. To the hierophant. So they are, they are going to the Hierophant, who I'm assuming is an emperor, who could be someone in higher authority. This is someone who sits in the higher position. This is someone who could um, be in an institution, or this could be a judge. This could be um, a respected leader. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse, though? The Tower. So some sort of information or communication is bringing in um, like a shocking change, okay? Some sort of destruction here because somebody could have lied. Eight of Cups in reverse that somebody didn't walk away. Or that somebody couldn't walk away. Somebody lied. What did they lie about? What's the tower? <clears throat> they lied about death. They lied about death and they lied about something being healed or that somebody came out of some sort of heartbreak and pain or um, about that something, somebody didn't go through some sort of pain, somebody didn't go through some sort of heartbreak or death. This is the tower, is that somebody lied about an ending and some sort of healing, what's death? A journey. Somebody lied that someone took a journey to end something or that somebody took a journey when something ended. A thief. Lovers in a house. Okay, so there's some sort of destruction coming in because somebody lied. Somebody lied about... Um, Someone taking a journey to have maybe a lover in a house. And this was um, this was a lie here with the thief. Somebody does not have an injury. Somebody was not hurt by something. Or there was no um, healing of something. Somebody didn't come out of some sort of heartbreak. Okay. Tell me more about this page of swords. Twin flames, balance, union, duality, coupling. They said that someone was not avoiding a conversation call person. Someone was not angry at someone. Messages about not being angry with someone. What? Okay, well, let's just move on. Uh, what are they fine-tuning here with the Eight of Pentacles? They are fine-tuning something right now. They are fine-tuning something about a death. Something about what happened in a home. What happened in a home. Yeah, because they're exposed now. Okay, so they've been exposed here. They've been definitely been exposed. 
about something that happened in a home or something that didn't happen in a home, okay? And now they're making and now they're planning something new. Okay, so now they're making new plans here. Three of Wands. Okay, so fine tuning. Okay, so we got caught, we got exposed. What are we gonna do next? Okay, let's rework it. Let's find a new plan. Let's come up with something new to cover up the fact that we just got exposed. Okay, so here we go again. They don't learn. Okay, so it's a ten of swords. <laughs> they don't learn. They don't learn. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's a Queen of Pentacles here who is going through a painful ending. Okay, this person has a strategy here. They're trying to think about a new strategy to come up, to say something about a betrayal, okay? To say something about a betrayal. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups in reverse. What? What do you mean Queen of Cups reverse? Queen of Swords. The new strategy is saying something about you being over emotional and you being hysterical and emotionally imbalanced. Hank Man. Pisces. The new strategy is something with a with a pisces they don't want to stop they don't want to give up <laughs> i got i got another song stuck in my head here i go again on my own. <laughs> how does that song go i don't i don't want to keep singing going down the only road i've ever known that's these people they just keep going down the same road right that they've the only road they've ever known yeah judgment and a ton of cops <laughs> Because this whole community, honestly, the Ten of Cups is this entire community of people at this point for me, okay? They're all under judgment and they just don't want to stop. So maybe that's why they don't want to stop. So what are they saying now about this betrayal? They're trying to say something about you feeling defeated or feeling or they're trying to this is what they're planning okay they're trying to is this about them feeling defeated or is, is this how they're trying to ten of wands this is because this is how they feel they feel defeated okay and they just cannot give up i mean strength and ten of wands is like we gotta keep going we gotta keep going we gotta keep going they just they just don't stop. Wow. Okay. That's too, yeah, because she, she's a queen of pentacles in reverse. Because whoever this is, this queen of pentacles, who's coming up with this new plan and strategy, this person is greedy and materialistic as hell. Okay? There must be some sort of a bounty here. This person must have been promised some sort of money because that's why they're doing this. This is why they don't stop. It's because of money, right? So that's their goal, okay? On their vision board, they felt like Maseratis and like a big house with a pool and whatever else not, okay? Buy all the out outfits that she wants. So this is why she's putting in all this hellfire, apparently, um, giving it her last bit of strength. It's because, well, for one, she probably wants to stay out of jail, but for two, I feel like it has something to do with money, okay? She just wants money so bad. Okay. So what are they going to say about this? But or, or are they going through a painful ending now? Okay, so now they're collaborating here. They have a new idea. Okay, they have a new idea. Tower. <laughs> oh, and it's going to burn down before it even starts. Okay, here we go. So... Now they have a bright new idea because they don't want to go through a painful ending because they've been exposed. They feel like they're being humiliated and they don't want to face some sort of, they don't want to lose their reputation, okay? They don't want to uh, lose their face or something like that. This person is totally ungrounded, okay? This person is, 
I, I honestly want to say like maybe a little bit of deranged at this point, okay? Like they just don't, I don't even know what their goals are anymore, okay? I mean, it's just kind of like giving me a little bit of like robot vibes, okay? Like we just got to keep going. We just, it's, it's kind of giving me a little bit deranged, okay? If I'm being honest. Okay, what's the King of Cups? <laughs> yeah, the truth is this person is delusional, okay? The Seven of Cups is honestly giving me yes. This person at this point is a little bit deranged. They're a little bit deranged and delusional, okay? I feel like they're not even operating out of like... I don't know what to call it. I can't even say it has anything to do with like not having logic. It feels like some sort of like a robot. I don't even know where they're getting this last bit of strength from. Maybe it is their reputation, okay? Like this, like Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone is extremely vain and shallow. They, I feel like they can't take the fact that they're gonna be exposed as being a liar. Okay, not just a liar. It's going to be so embarrassing when everybody finds out what they did. I feel like that's what's kind of like, maybe that's what's driving them at this point is that fear of like, um, I can't let it get out. I can't let this get out. I can't let it get out. You know what I mean? Like, we can't let this get out. We can't let everybody find out what we did. We have to cover it up like that, like something like that. So what's the King of Cups? What do I see here? And person in reverse. This person sees you as an empress in the reverse. Yeah, they just don't want to stop. Like, or maybe this is what they said about you. I don't know. They might have called you someone that is very insecure, codependent. You would do anything for money. Um, you're very jealous. You're controlling. You're neglectful and abusive. You're not stable. Um, this is everything they might have said about you here. Yeah, working together with this King of Wands here. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so that's why this King of Cups refused to answer the call and um, take their last chance at doing the right thing, right? So probably because this King of Wands and Queen of Pentacles ended up persuading him. Because I remember that reading. It was, it was saying that, you know, the King of Cups might be thinking about coming clean, you know, was asking God for forgiveness, but it looks like he then ended up collaborating again with the King of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. So I don't know why this person's asking for forgiveness at this point, but whatever, we'll leave that up to this person and God, right? So this person just believes that you are the shit under their shoe, okay? To put it lightly, okay? So they think that you deserve this apparently. And they're working together with this group. This person is, this King of Cups, honestly, this is someone that um, gets peer pressured very easily, okay? They don't have um, a strong tailbone, I almost want to say, okay? Um, they're a yes man, okay? They're a yes man, okay? People pleaser. They'll do anything that people tell them to do. So they didn't, they couldn't withstand some sort of peer pressure, apparently. Yeah, they took the easy way out. Six of Swords are like, no, nah, I'm going to take the easy way out. I'm just going to try and, uh, yeah, let's just see if we can uh, avoid this, right? I don't, I don't feel like taking accountability. I don't feel like doing the right thing. I don't feel like uh, turning myself in and, um, you know, actually doing the work. I don't feel like healing. I don't feel like... Uh, growing up okay so they went against their uh their final calling i guess so what's the eight of pentacles that was the choice that they made they're fine-tuning something here with heartbreak and with this ace of cups somebody giving i mean i don't know why i keep getting like pregnancy off of this for some reason and something to do with money, page of pentacles, or some sort of an investment, or money news. So they're they're trying to fine tune something right now with some sort of an 
with an injury or heartbreak or something with a new beginning in love. Okay, they're trying to fine tune this and something to do with a, an investment or something to do with money or some sort of financial news. Okay, so how are they, how are they trying to fine tune this one? Uh, they just don't give up. Look at them. They just don't give up. Look at them watering their little olive tree. They're like, oh, just three more years and maybe we'll have three olives. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid at this point. This person, just, yeah, they have a bright new idea. Look at them. It's, oh, look, it's the olive branch. <laughs> it's their little olive. So it hasn't even grown into a tree yet. It's just a little olive branch. They're like, yes, look at my olive branch. Isn't it nice? Hasn't it grown much? Okay. That's funny. Lovers. Oh, the lovers. Okay, so, so they're still trying to make this one work, right? They're still trying to make this one work. Okay. <laughs> stupid. So stupid. Yeah, because that's what they've been invested in for so long. Oh, and this is what they're planning here. They're planning on taking some sort of action here. Okay. Well, good luck. Ah, good luck, because you're trapped anyways. I mean, <laughs> look at them riding straight, straight into the trap again. Okay, good luck. They're salty. Okay, whatever. So now they're trying to flip it and twist it and squeeze it again. Okay, trying to make a lemon, orange juice out of a lemon, right? So let's see, why is temperance here? Gotta, gotta kind of laugh at these people. They're so delusional and deranged. <laughs> Your angels say, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because these people are absolutely deranged and delusional and confused out of their mind if they think this is gonna work. Especially if you have an ember here that's already watching and this person, you know, maybe already got the 411. So it's like, go ahead and try. Go ahead and try though, okay? But these people are just gonna make themselves look even more deranged and delusional at this point, okay? Yeah, and that's the Wheel of Fortune right there. <laughs> that's hilarious, okay. Yeah, they don't realize it's already over, okay? Like it's already been decided. They've already, their fate has already been decided and they're still trying to fight against fate. It's already been decided and they're still trying to fight it. It's like, I don't know. It doesn't even make any sense at this point, but okay. Yeah, they're so, look at them, trying to get away with it. Look at them. Look at them in their boat, trying to get away with it. They're like, we only, we got one last try. Okay, go for it. Okay, so what's strength? They're trying to, let go of the past or your strengths is that you've let go of the past or what's the four cups reverse no the star and the five of cups no this is them this is them trying to let go of the past or trying to get rid of the past or trying to like like let it blow over in some sort of way, okay? They just really want to believe that they're going to have a new beginning. They're just, they just really want to believe that their wish is going to come true. It's like, <clears throat> this is them telling themselves every single night like this. I know it's going to work. I know it's going to work. 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 Okay, everybody, let's say it together. Hold hands. It's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> it's like, they're not realizing it's like okay you can make a wish that doesn't mean it's gonna get granted you, the wish only gets granted if it's for your highest good okay and especially if you're trying to hurt someone else that is innocent and didn't do anything to deserve this why do you think your wish is gonna get granted I don't know but they're sad and upset okay They're not even acting out of any kind of, any form of rationality or logic at this point. They're very like deranged and delusional and they just, it's kind of giving me a little bit of scrambling, okay? It's like they just, they know they're exposed. They feel like they have to do something. They're just,
Like these are honestly the kind of people like, that's why I don't understand why they're not taking Spirit's warning, okay? Like Spirit has warned these people multiple times that it's that they need to stop, that they need to give up. Spirit has warned these people multiple times. I remember doing a reading for the King of Cups explicitly saying, you need to do the right thing and turn yourself in, right? Do the right thing, King of Cups. I mean, what they're not realizing is like, if they were to go to the police and be honest and take accountability and say the truth about what they've done, they might even get a lighter sentence. I mean, are they even thinking about that? They're going to get caught. They're going to, they're not going to get away with this. I don't know what they're thinking. Okay. They're trying to fine tune something. How are you going to fine tune a pile of shit? How are you going to fine tune a pile of shit? Besides, like I said at the beginning, in their deranged mind, they're like, well, I mean, if the truth is out that the messages were all hacked, then why don't we create fake messages and then also say those were hacked? It'll look like they were hacked, even though they're fake, right? We can just create fake messages that fit our narrative and then say, not realizing they are literally uh, still um, confessing to a crime of hacking. Like that's... None of that evidence would be able to get used anyways if it's a obtained illegally like that. I mean, also not accounting for the fact that someone here that has been hacked would probably be keeping all of their messages after this point anyways, right? So if they want to come up ahead and say, okay, I have, we have all of these fake, fake messages here. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can be proven, right? I don't know. They're just think. I don't know. They're just thinking of like the craziest shit at this point. Yeah, it's gonna backfire. Look at that. Temperance and the Seven of Wands. It's gonna backfire. No matter what they do, it's gonna backfire. It's just stupid at this point, but whatever. Yeah, that's the sun. That's the truth, King of Wands. I don't know if this is the one that keeps thinking of this crazy shit. Okay, this is your new idea creating fake messages and saying, oh, we'll just pretend that they're hacked too, but they're fake. But nobody's gonna know because all the rest of them are fake or hacked. Now they're trying to info, like, do you get what I'm saying? They're trying to like, uh... <laughs> now they're trying to use the hacked messages as an alibi for the fake messages. It's gonna backfire, King of Wands. I mean, when are these people gonna learn? I don't know when they're gonna learn. It's like, it's honestly boggling my mind but then at the end of the day i'm like yeah they're just deranged they're just delusional at this point if they think if they think they're gonna get away with it so it's permanent the five of pentacles some sort of because somebody's going within about being left out in the cold this group is sad this group is sad, they feel abandoned, they feel like they're about to be poor and in poverty, and they're just trying to figure out how they're going to get out of it. With messages. With messages, let me guess though. What kind of messages, huh? Yeah, with messages. So they're bringing in new messages to the justice system. New messages, huh? So stupid. Two, but these ones aren't real. Look, two of pentacles, these ones aren't real. This is going to be identity fraud, okay? This is going to be fake messages, okay? They're trying to balance something out. I don't think these ones are... Are these going to be real messages? Hack? Are these going to be hack messages? Or are these going to be fake messages, huh? What kind of messages are they bringing in now? The world. What kind of messages are they bringing in now? This is the truth about their plan. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got it right. I have clarity about their plan. Their plan is fake messages that they create themselves and then they're gonna bring them in because they think that if somebody's investigating, the investigators think that they're hacked messages. Confirmation. Did you hear that? That was my uh, desk over there. For any of you newbies, okay, new subscribers here. Sometimes my furniture, my walls, my windows make noises, okay, as confirmation. So they're trapped. They've been trapped by the high priestess. Oh, okay. Better luck next time, guys, okay? 
<laughs> These people crack me up. Okay, hangman. Yeah. Yeah, moment of enlightenment about this betrayal. Okay? There's no betrayal. Now they're gonna now, now they're gonna fake the betrayal, okay? Alright, anything else we need to know for Libra before I close it out? Guys, maybe this is advice for the people that are planning this, okay? Three of Wands. This is what they're planning. Maybe you should take take a second and really think about this before you do it, okay? Four of Swords. Take a second, rest, sleep at night on it before you do this, okay? Maybe. Okay? Knowing them, they're not gonna they're not gonna do anything. It has something to do with the Queen of Wands and someone losing money. Someone losing money. Someone not having a gift. Somebody not receiving a gift. Somebody losing a gift. Ah, oh, Ember. Here's the truth about the betrayal, Ember. Okay. They thought of a really great new idea here. Okay. Here's your heads up, Ember. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Justice. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming into the justice system with some with some new communication, new evidence. We have new messages, new, we've been up all night texting each other back and forth, pretending that these are old messages, right? That's what this is. That's the sun and the high priestess, yo, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what they're doing now. That's the next move. That's the next move. Fake messages that they create themselves, pretending like they're also hacked. They're not. These are fake, okay? That's the next move. Because they're running out of ideas. Honestly, they're running out of ideas at this point. They don't know what else to do. Um, if they had, I'm not even going to say anything. That's just the next move, okay, that they're making here. So I'm going to leave it at that. Libra, thanks for watching. And until next time, bye.